Welcome back to the Webby and O'Neill channel. Plenty of Manchester United news to get through today, including Mason Mount, John Myrtle's trip to Spain, and anything and everything you want to talk about, Red. So as usual, get involved in the chat. But I'm going to start with Mason Mount. What's your thoughts on this? Returns to Manchester United training today. Looking positive. Will he make it for the weekend's game against Liverpool, possibly? Well, him getting back to training is a welcome boost for Manchester United. We need something new. Uh, Mason Mount can bring it. Good player. Always said it. Just unfortunate with all the injuries at the moment. Uh, getting back, will he start this weekend? I very much doubt it. Maybe in a couple of weeks, hopefully. But we do need someone back, like Mason Mount, to give a little bit of energy into that midfield because it's been poor in that midfield. It's been too wide open. And hopefully the introduction of Mason Mount, when he comes in, mm. can bring what he used to bring at Chelsea. My worry about Mason Mount is, and I've said it before, these injuries, they've got to be cautious. They've got to be careful bringing him back because I do believe, this is my honest opinion, I do believe that these, these problems Mason Mount's got, right, will continue. So I hope not, but that's my belief based on what I've seen and heard about what injuries is sustained. So at the end of the day, they've got to be delicate with him. But I do fear for Mason Mount. A lot of money we paid for him and, I, and I'm not sure where he fits into this squad, to be honest with you. Yeah, you've also got to think with a long-term absence like he's gone through this season, what it does also psychologically, you know, all the hard work mentally that he's had to put in to get back to where he is right now because it's been a long time that he's been out for and you just think, how is he going to be now going from now until the end of the season? Yeah. There's still a Euros to look for in the summer. Surely that'll be a big motivation for him as well to put in the hard yards for Manchester United's uh, remaining fixtures to make that squad for England as well. So, I think I think when you look at like his motivation, his motivation is to stay injury-free and just get to mm. the end of the season. Uh, me personally, I don't think anything about the Euros with Mason Mount. I think he, he's going to concentrate on getting fit and getting back into this team and then looking forward to a good pre-season. That's how I see it. But there's a big doubt over his long-term fitness. That's how I look at it. And coming back from injuries like this, yes, it can play on people's minds, but some people get through it and some people don't. So let's hope Mason Mount gets through it. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I'd like to think... Uh, there's some motivation for him from now until the end of the season with Manchester United. That should always be the number one for me, not international duty, but there's going to be a lot of them players in that squad and then around other squads in the Premier League who are also looking towards the Euros. Got an eye on that as we're coming into the draw of the remaining games of the season. So for me, if he can get back into that squad, like I say, I'm just not sure where his best position is. For me, you know, let me know what you think out there. But I think it's Bruno's position where Bruno plays. But how many times and how many opportunities is he going to get over the captain? For me, Bruno Fernandes is still the number one in that position. And it's just how Mason Mount fits in and around that. Does he fit in alongside Casemiro? Does he fit in alongside him and Kobe Mainu? I'm, <sighs> I'm just really not too sure. But yeah, going on to that news yesterday as well about John Murto um, with Manchester United's chief negotiator on transfers, Matt Hargraves. Over in Spain, meeting sporting director from Barcelona, Deco. There's a lot of things going through my mind. I look at John Murto over in uh, Barcelona again. Spent a lot of time over there. All the soundings there from Jim Ratcliffe is that he's going to get rid of uh, Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood himself, there's rumours there, stories coming out that he wants to leave. He also could be looking, uh, purchasing one or two players from Barcelona on behalf of uh, Ineos. I believe Manchester United are going to get rid of Mason Greenwood. They don't like the PR, what goes around him. They don't like the stigma. That's what they do. And I would be very surprised if Barcelona went for Mason Greenwood. Yeah, Fabrizio Romano today, to be honest with you, this morning says Barcelona are not currently working on Mason Greenwood deal despite recent links. Manchester United are open to selling Mason and to find a solution in the summer as reported earlier this week. But Barca's focus is now on different targets. But the thing is, he's working on something. The question is, and the speculation is, what is he working on? And, and I think there might be somebody else who they're looking at. They might even be looking at a swap deal. You just don't know. But Barcelona going for Mason Greenwood, for me, I think that's a stretch too far. Recent updates today as well from various sources that the trip was described as routine business for John Myrtle meeting the sporting director Deco and they understand that the meetings are all to do with the summer transfer market ahead and the pair attended a, gen the pair, sorry, attended a general meeting that was described as nothing new. John Myrtle travelled to Barcelona outside the transfer window last season and has also met 
sporting directors at Juventus and AC Milan, which we did find like last season at Juventus. He met Rabiot's mum, didn't he? Yeah. Probably took her out for uh, a beef dinner or sampling the local cuisine out there. You look at what he's doing, John Murto. If he's going out there, routine transfer talks, things like that, you have to turn around and say, well, he's acting on behalf of what Eric Ten Hag's saying. Uh, and in the uh, transfer business is being done in the summer. That's what he's looking forward to, Eric Ten Hag. So this is part of that, possibly. Uh, not Obviously, I don't know. But at the end of the day, any transfer business, what is going on with John Murto is on, is on behalf of Ineos, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Eric Ten Hag. So they're looking forward to the summer. And this could be the, just the start of talks, preliminary talks going forward. Who knows? Yeah, mentioned the likes of Mason Greenwood. Cause it, could it be a possible transfer? Even for Frankie de Jong, will that rumour all start back up? But it, it could even be the likes of Jadon Sancho, who surplus the requirements here at Manchester United. Is John Murto meeting certain agents, sporting directors, just to try and like get the feelers out there that, look, Jadon Sancho's still available, lads, for at the right price. Big which, I, which I'll just take 10 million for Sancho, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, listen. If you can get 10 million from him, just get him off the wage bill. Is he doing this? Is he doing that? Big word, if. If he does this, if he does that, he'll go, he'll go. We just don't know. John Murto is doing the business. He's got the full backing of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and he's over there and he's sorting it out. Whatever it is. Full backing transfer, at the moment. Transfer or just try to get Greenwood out there or just try to take a player. He's doing the business. I wouldn't say he's doing the business. He's, he's doing actually the trying bus- to get the business done at the moment, but I wouldn't say he's doing the business in terms of like, yeah, no, he's doing the business no, here at no, Manchester United. I'll, I'll rephrase it. He's doing the business <laughs> on behalf of Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Yeah. And everyone is behind why he's out there. So let's see what happens. Yeah, we will do. We'll do it when uh, Dan Ashworth comes in as well. Let's see what role John Murto has to play then. And if we do get another director of football and Josh Wilcox, other names have been mentioned. But there's going to be a huge, huge summer for Manchester United with players and behind the scenes as well. But anything to add before we go? No, no, that's it. It's all, uh, it's all a little bit of news coming out. So let's just hope whatever's going on there in Barcelona, it gets sorted and sorted quick. Yeah, but good news on Mason Mount returning to the squad yes. and first team training today. Hopefully we do get to see him in the next couple of weeks as well because it's a player that I've been really looking forward to seeing getting a natural run of games this season. And I've got to be honest, sometimes I've actually forgot he's playing for Manchester United. And that's not me slagging Mason Mount down. It's just because of the amount of time he's been out injured. But um, I look forward to seeing him play and see where he does fit into this team. But let us know what your thoughts and opinions are today on Mason Mount returning, especially where do you see his favourite position or his best position in this starting eleven, and who with. Also, John Murto as well. What do you think he's over in Spain for? Do you think he's whining and dining? Some players' agents? Do you think he's just over there on a jolly up? Or is he actually trying to get some actual transfer business done for the benefit of Manchester United this summer. Let us know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed today's video or you want to support the channel, just leave a like on the video and it's much appreciated. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Much appreciated. Thank you.